welcome to the next step. Today, I want to explore adding without regrouping. Before we get started, please review your ones, tens, and hundreds place value spots. Pause the video if you need to. Are you ready? Let's get started. Addition without regrouping is adding numbers together when the sum of each place value spot is equal or less than nine. The lesson objective is to introduce learners to adding bigger numbers together and getting us ready to add numbers together with regrouping. This will take place in the next step. So let's take a look at a math question. 13 plus 24. To solve this question, we need to add the ones place value spot from both numbers together and then add the tens place value spot from both numbers together. A good strategy that I like to use is to draw a line through the middle, separating my ones and my tens place value spots. Let's start here in the ones. It's really important for the next video and next step that we practice starting in the ones place value spot. So in the ones, I have a three and a four. I'm going to set up three blocks from the three in the 13 and four blocks from the four in 24. Remember, we are just looking at the ones. When I add them together, it makes seven. I'll make sure I write that below under the ones place value spot. Now, to finish this math question, let's look at the tens place value spot. I see that I have a one and a two. Let me get my block set up. But because we're in the tens place value spot, I'm going to use ten sticks. One plus two equals three. I'm going to write my answer under the tens place value spot. And we did it. 13 plus 24 equals 37. Let's try this again. 46 plus 21. Which place value spot do I start in? The ones. Six plus one equals seven. And now the tens. Four plus two equals six. Now, when I put it all together, that tells me 46 plus 21 equals 67. Sometimes you might see a math question written this way. It's going to be our job to make sure we add each place value spot to the correct one. A strategy I like to use is to rewrite the questions numbers above and below each other. There's the first. When I write the second number I'm adding, I need to make sure I place it in the correct place value spot. Is this the correct one? Uh-oh, I made a mistake. A three is a single digit number so I'll have to place it in the ones place value spot. If I add a ones place value number to a tens place value number, I'll get the wrong answer. So let's move the three to the ones place value spot. And we're ready, Freddy. Six plus three equals nine. And now let's add our tens. Five plus zero equals five. So, 56 plus 3 equals 59. Let's look at one last question. This time, let's add in the hundreds place value spot 2. 263 plus 412. Remember for the next step to keep practicing starting in the ones place value spot, the smallest. Then work your way to the biggest. First in the ones, 3 plus 2 equals 5. Then we solve the tens. Six plus one equals seven. Last the hundreds. Two plus four equals six. So that tells me 263 plus 412 equals 675. Remember to practice every day. There are many different ways you can practice adding without regrouping. Some tools I recommend exploring to reinforce learning are practice worksheets, making a place value mat and adding each spot with the correct place value blocks, 
in playing two than three digit addition math games. You'll know you're ready for the next video, addition with regrouping, when you are able to follow this checklist consistently. Line up place value spots correctly. Start by adding the ones place value spot first. Then move on to the tens place and add those. Finally, add the numbers that are in the hundreds place value spot. Make sure you are placing the digits under the correct place value spot in your answer. Keep practicing and you'll be able to add three digit numbers together with confidence.